Hi guys, um, my name is Jake. I'm 15 and I just got my first FPV system and I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. So basically what I have going on here is um, I, I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of RC Tutor. It is a cool um, thing and I kind of made my own redemption of my display at my ground station. So all I have is a little 9 inch slave screen. It's about like 30 bucks. And there's a main board on the back and I just mount it by the Velcro and stuff and some little tabs to pull it out so it doesn't get stuck. So that's not really my issue here. What I have for you guys is I got my Fox Deck FPV 2.4 GHz 500 milliwatt system and um, I have the transmitter and receiver and basically here I'll show you really quick. I made a special custom jack that can power my display screen and my receiver at the same time. So the receiver actually came with a barrel jack to like a JST that goes right into the DC on a receiver. So if you plug that in like this, the DC also has two AV outports. I'm not really trying to do a review. I just I'm just trying to familiar guys familiarize you guys with this if you're kind of unfamiliar with this system. So maybe you guys can help me out. So next, what I did was now that I have this the power. I um, made the same thing for my display screen. So it's got DC in right on the bottom, right there. So I plug this in, my custom wire that I made. And so um, I put the DC in, and then maybe it's easier if you can see it this way. This really isn't the issue. I mean, like, it all powers up, and it, that works. So I got, so what I did was um, I got this stuff at Radio Shack, and then I just soldered it on a JST plug. Uh, uh, female one. And then I took two males and kind of made my own Y harness, except the end of it has an EC3 connector on it. I really, I, the only reason I don't have the blue thing on the EC3 is um this part was, it was I was just having trouble getting it on. I just wanted to see if it worked out. But other than that, so you plug in your L jack for the display screen as well as the receiver now these two are connected the receiver is going down uh, this side and here's one going to my display screen and then this part is EC3 so what I'm doing is here I'll plug in my screen Sorry, my computer got a little dim. So I'm gonna plug in my screen, and now that's plugged into the power. Next, I'm gonna take my—it's just a three cell. That's 1,300 milliamps. It's just enough to power it. Um, this comes to the EC3 port. You can go positive on the positive side, wherever that is. Positive. And then negative. Sorry, it's hard for you to see. But I got that. So now I have power going to my ground station system. Right? See my screen? I yeah. set it back here like it was earlier. The only reason it has lines in it is because um the way this thing is. But other than that. Alright, so now that has power, that's turned on. And my receiver also has power, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a red light in there, right at the finger. Ah, that's powered up. I know you can't see it, but it's on. So, um, I now have power going there. Next, I'm going to power up my receiver, or the transmitter. Here's the transmitter. All I did was I soldered a servo lead to the end of it, and then I have my camera. I soldered. I just basically it's all together. <laughs> Doesn't matter how I did it. It's all together. Everything's right there. So I plug my JST right in. I have a JST thing right in here. And plug a little two cell into here. And as well, this is power. A little light on there. You see it? It's right by my thumb. So that is power. So now everything's good, right? Well. When I go to hook up 
the AV ports, I guess it's not transmitting and receiving as it's supposed to be. So I know there's two AV out ports on here. I'm not sure if it makes a difference which one I put it in. I don't think it does. I've tried both. But we'll see what happens. So we got this. I'm going to plug this one right into my screen. And hopefully it'll work. But as it was before, it wasn't working well. So still nothing. Didn't do anything. Everything's on the channels. That's also a weird thing with these things. Um, on a receiver, the only reason those streaks are on the screen is because um, the way the barrel jacks and if I lined it up right, it'll work. That's not my problem. On a receiver, it does have a diagram of I'm trying to get this to focus. Yeah, it has a diagram of like what channel, oh, there, what channel's what, and it shows you the switches. But on the box that the receiver came in, it also shows that the only difference is they're different. Uh, the switch, it says channel one, for the first one on the box, it says channel one is the number one button is up and the rest of them are down. And then on the receiver, it actually says channel one is all of them are up and the last one is down. Total opposite. So I'm not really sure if I'm on the right channel because of that. And the transmitter, I'm just following by what the box says. So hopefully that is right. But that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you can help and I can get up transmitting and receiving. Um, just leave any comments or do anything. Um, if you PM me and you're in the area or you're in the US, maybe you can text me or something. I'm, I just want to get this thing going up. So my Skywalker is coming tomorrow. I ordered everything, so I'm ready to go, except I need my video system going, but any help is appreciated. Um, I guess just leave some comments. All right, thanks.